Hi, my name is Bob Bauer, and I work for the Chelan County Public Utility District. And together with Kristen Bates of the North Central Washington Education Service District, we are going to show you how to both set up the Northwest Renewable Energy Display and also how to use it as a curriculum model in your science class. I'm Kristen Bates with North Central Educational Service District, and I'm going to show you today how to easily set up the Northwest Energy Display Model. It's um, easy to set up, lightweight to lift. You, you might have noticed that we have color-coded the legs, and this is for the full length if you want to set this up as a freestanding model. Each kit will come with a set of instructions that show setting it up either for the long legs with braces or the little short legs. So the legs are on, you set it up, unclip, lift, and we have the Northwest Energy Display. I'll start out putting these three pieces in. We start with our dam and fish ladder, clip easily together, and then we have our safety sign. There is a little plug that attaches right into the back. There's sideways here to tighten it all together. Now we'll put our wind generator up and we'll build our grid. So we need to get our electricity all the way from the dam to the house. So we've just put our towers up and now you'll notice that our high voltage lines are different lakes but they are easy to use because they are elastic. And you just come over here and put it on the short thread. And then our last item is our multimeter, color-coded black down here, red here. You see the red power lines? So you'll know that you connect the black here. So this is for when we use the hydro, your students will be able to see how much voltage is generated. The first thing that you will notice is that the display provides a perfect picture of the hydrologic cycle, beginning with the rain clouds and the snow-capped mountains, and then the river which brings the water through the generation hydro facility down into the ocean, continuing with the process of evaporation back up with the sun. The model is also a great way to teach about clean and renewable energy. You'll notice that we have the capacity with a PV cell to show solar power. We have the capacity with wind turbine to show wind power, and the model also has the ability to show hydroelectric power. It's also great, uh, a great tool to use to compare with some of the other sources of energy, that being coal, nuclear, and gas. And it's a great way to contrast the clean energy from that not so clean energy. The model also has a wonderful schematic that shows water flow through a hydro plant showing generation of electrical power. The model allows students to participate in the generation of power through the solar power, through the wind power, and through the hydro power model. Using a typical handheld flashlight, a student can easily provide the source of light to the photovoltaic cell, which then is used to generate power to our auto parts store. We use a CD disc cover to provide clouds to show a different in energy as the clouds pass through the sun. Included in the kit is a handheld battery operated fan that also can be plugged in using AC current. And the fan can be used by the student to turn the wind model turbine and that in turn lights the high school light. And of course where there's wind power and solar power, what we really like is also hydropower. And hydropower is when water of course turns a rotor that turns a generator. And that turning generator can generate power. Notice that we're lighting the city houses. It takes a little bit more energy. The student will recognize that it's a little harder to turn to create more power for this high school. And then if you're going to light the business district, the high school, and the city, you really have to work at it unless you put it in the energy saver mode, which makes everything much more energy efficient. This gives us the ability to teach a lot about efficiency and conservation. The kit also includes a multimeter that can be used to attach to either the hydro, the solar, or the wind model to show the transfer of electrical energy in a more uh, understandable way.